What is up, everybody? So we're out here another day after work. So yesterday, I did a video. It showed that my electric, my ETC light is on, and then I hooked my thing scan up. All these codes are on the truck. So when I did the relearn, I believe that it fried the plug. So I'm gonna try something else versus what I tried yesterday because I thought it was a throttle body. Well, it's not a throttle body issue. It's an accelerator positioning or pedal positioning sensor. Accelerator pedal positioning sensor. And I've had a lot of comments on my channel about it and I'm finally having the issue. So now that we have the issue, we're gonna go through it. So I'm just gonna try to unplug it. I'm gonna leave my battery hooked up. So I'm gonna try to trick the truck into thinking that it just lost communication and hopefully it'll reset itself or do something different. If not, we're gonna get into taking it off. I gotta get some numbers off of it and I gotta see if I can find one or hit a junkyard up and find one. So until then, the truck's sitting here. I'm having to drive the 09 to work every day. Not really my cup of tea. So I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna unplug it. I'll show y'all the, the accelerator pedal positioning sensor and where it's at and we'll unplug it and then we're gonna leave it out for 10 minutes plug it back in start the truck see what we got if we're in the same spot i'm gonna disconnect the battery i gotta take the fuse box off the battery tray out to get up under there and take them bolts out unhook my throttle cable and then that'll be that so before we jump into that i'm gonna grab my light and i'm gonna show y'all that underneath there is no pedal positioning sensor underneath the dash. Not on your third generation RAM or at least on my 03, there's not. So I'm gonna show y'all that real quick also and then we'll get into this. So here we are, man, we're on the floorboard. Here's the gas pedal, we're gonna follow it up and you're gonna see for all the guys that's had comments about maybe there's one on the pedal, this is where it bolts to the firewall right here. This is where it goes up and catches your throttle cable right there so there is no positioning sensor under the dash of your 03 ram 1500 and there it is right there this is what it looks like under your truck right this is your battery right here so you, it's underneath your battery tray you just pop your little cover down and voila there it is right there Let's see if i can get this wire out of the way real quick and there it is so what i want to do I want to pull this lock back, like always. Everything's got a lock on it now. We're going to try not to break it like we did on the starter video. But they are pretty tricky. Here we go. I would have to say, that's one thing about these rams they are tall trucks man they are almost impossible to get up underneath to work on or to get up over the top of them to work on them there it is unplugged as a matter of fact that thing was already unlocked and unplugged pretty much so that could have been an issue i'm gonna leave it sitting here for a little bit plug it back in see what we got wanted to show y'all real quick we got it plugged back in so here we go Hop in the truck real quick. Let's see if we uh, did something good or something bad or nothing at all. Let me get these keys out. There it is. All right, I'm gonna turn this camera around, put you on this dash, here we go. Nope, nothing, it didn't do anything. So at that point, we're gonna be taking it out of there. So here it is, man, here we go with it. All right, so we're gonna get into taking this thing out of here now. First thing I wanna show you, like always, man, like I've told y'all several times, I'm gonna walk over here. I live by this, man, I live by it. I never store my batteries on concrete. So I live by that tip, man. So I always put my battery on something I don't leave it on the concrete. I've always heard that the 
the Earth's magnetic or gravitational field will zap the battery. That's just what I was growing up on. So we're gonna jump into this right now. I, I needed to show y'all that to show y'all I live by what I am telling y'all and the tips I'm telling you, I live by them. So it's a half inch. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And the battery tray should come out. Half inch right here. And then a lot of people's probably got a little clip right here that you'll just you'll just clip it off with your screwdriver. It's like a little speed clip. But um, the first thing we're gonna do, I told y'all that a little backwards. So we're gonna take the fuse box off first because it slides into the side of your battery tray. All right, so let's get this off and out of the way. We'll just lay it over to the side. You hold that battery up, keep that tension off that bolt, you can get it out with your fingers once you loosen it up. So like I said, this slides forward and then pulls out of the side of your battery tray like that. See your little slides right here? See a little slide right there where my finger's at? There's one there and then there's one there and this these things just slide in there. So we should be able to just unbolt it and pull it up and get it out of the way and get to that accelerator, pedal, position, sensor. Man, that's a, that's a, that's a whole mouthful right there. And another thing, man, for all you guys out there wondering if I have power tools or things of that nature, as a matter of fact, I do. But I want to do all my videos by hand for the guy that doesn't have power tools, for the guy that doesn't have an impact. So you can show him that it's not that hard to do it with just hand tools. These things have never been out that I know of. One. Y'all just bear with me, man. These things are dirty. Two. Three. Good thing is they're not very long-winded. This one is, but that one's not. And this one's not, so that's a bonus. You ain't got three inches of threads there you gotta deal with. These aren't either. Short-winded little things. I figured they'd be a little longer. This does bolt your fender down. This is a part of taking a fender off. If that's what you was having to do. All right, so let's see. All right, it's mounted somewhere else. That thing is still rigid. Oh, you know what? I might have to get up in my fender well to get this thing off. Okay, so upon further inspection, you have to pull your wheel well out. You see that bolt? My dad's hand's touching it. That's a bolt. And then you got one. Man, let's see if I can get this camera up in there to see it. Right there. You see that bolt right there? That's the second one. You have to pull them out for your battery tray to slide out. And then guess what? Your accelerator pedal positioning sensor will come out with that and then you can just take it off the bottom of your battery tray. So that's what I'm about to get into and then we'll click you back on. All right, so you gotta fight your box out above the top of your horn. It'll hit right here on your horn. Once you get it out, unplug your purge valve. That's your, your uh, solenoid purge valve right there. Unplug it and then I got to get my light. Y'all just hang on. 
this has become quite the adventure so then you have to, you got one more bolt i'm going to try to get you down in there once you slide it out i don't know if you can see it down in there or not it ain't looking very good now is it but there's one more bolt on the back side of this here over here that you have to get off to pull this out for this is your this goes to your brake booster your master cylinder and once you pull that out this box will come out then this will come off and like i said your accelerator pedal positioning sensor is bolted to the bottom of your battery tray all right man so to release your throttle cable just get a flat blade look it just let me get my hand out of the way here look it just pops on there bam just like that right get your flat blade like so just pop it off it's a little ball socket type deal so this here to get your cable out it just pulls you see this piece spins right here it just slides out this way towards your engine pull it out towards your engine that'll release your cable all the way now we're gonna pull the battery tray out and get this thing off and see what we can get into but i am running out of light so we're gonna have to finish this video tomorrow so that'll be it for today hey what's going on everybody we're back at it accelerator pedal positioning sensor the rest of the video so this is going to be like a i guess it'll be a mid video recap real quick and then we'll get into taking the rest of this out and getting this sensor off so i can get some pictures of it um get some numbers off of it me and my father supposed to be going and hitting some salvage yards up tomorrow hopefully i can find a couple of more now i've been doing some homework i'm gonna get a couple of them if i can find them i don't know if it's gonna work or not i might have to get a reflash or something like that one of my subscribers quiet signal sent me a real good video on the issue so i might have to do something like that now at this point we're just going to continue on with what i already got going on in the first part of the video so let's do this recap now i got my tip on moved out of the way i slid this back into place so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to you know get all your bolts out get your battery out um and then you're going to want to drop your horn which you're going to have to drop your fender well so dropping your fender well is for two reasons one to get your horn one because you have two bolts for your battery tray under here there's one if you can see that i don't know if you can see where it goes and then there's another one right there and then that bolt hanging out right there is for your horn you take that horn down the only reason you really got to take the horn down is so this ear right here will slide past it and then you got um one two three four five it's six seven eight 12 uh half inch bolts we went through the process oh there goes my light we went through the process of disconnecting the throttle cable and pulling it out of the holder right here where is it at let me get where did that thing go here it is the little holder here like we like i stated earlier in the video it just slides out and that's just a ball socket just pops on there <laughs> and i am man i have to say I'm going to have to put this out there, dude. My little cover come off. Is this little battery weight sensor here to, to sort of register in your truck that your battery is sitting properly in your battery tray? Man, I am having the time of my life trying to get this thing unplugged. So I might drop back and punt and just cut the wires underneath with enough pigtail to re-splice them before I go back with it and then that'll be that so we're gonna get back into taking this tray out all the way maybe i don't need to take the tray out to get to it but at this point we're already so far into it we might as well do it and if anybody's ever got to replace a tray they can refer to the video so here we go man we got you all propped up so let's uh we got to pull this bolt back out here now one thing to note the bolts in your battery tray will look like this and you have two bolts that look like this that go into your little uh electronic brake i don't even know what it's called so i'm not even going to say anything and then another thing is is it's easier if you take this little bushing right here 
and slide it out of your battery tray right there. It'll make this thing, it'll make your little electronic brake thing. I might have to find the name of that so I can get y'all the name to this right here. And then you can slide your battery like so, your battery chain like so. Just get it around everything, hold this up. You don't want to bend your metal lines. You have metal lines right here, you don't want to bend them. That could be catastrophic if you break one. And then we have this battery plug right here. So it actually looks like somebody has already cut them once. Let me get it. Let me let me get under here and see. It's got some tape around it. I mean, I gotta understand. I didn't buy this truck brand new. I bought this truck used. See, there was already tape around the wire. It doesn't look like it's ever been cut. So I'm just gonna cut them and then I'll just re-splice them at a later date. Let me walk over here to my garage, grab my cutters real quick. We'll finish getting this battery tray out of here. Alright, got my handy dandy cutters. We're just gonna nip it, leave a few inches, maybe an inch or two, so I can um, you know, re-splice it and it'll be good. And there it is. So like I said, I just I just cut them off. They're color coded. We should be able to splice them and put them back. It should be fine. Who knows, if I can find one at the junkyard, I'll, I'll grab one of these too, why not? Then we'll just slide this out. Man, it's starting to rain. That's never fun. And voila, there it is. Wow, it's pretty open in there. So here's the tray, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the three looks like three Phillips screws out we're gonna pull the whole case off and then it's like a Torx bit right here and we should be able to pull just the sensor out without the housing because I've been looking for the part and the one I've been looking for has the housing well if I don't need the housing because mine's good wow that thing's in there So it is only three Phillips screws. Take this thing out here. Perfect, there it is, it's in hand. So here we go, man, it's a T25 is your Torx bit. You just break these loose. Wow, those are pretty tight too, they've been there for a while. There we go. Let me just back these out real quick. We should be able to pull that sensor out. Well, pretty quick. Then I'll show y'all the part number on the, this is an OEM original accelerator pedal positioning sensor. And then we'll finish this video. I guess this will be the removing. And there it goes. And there it goes. So that was kind of unplanned. So you gotta make sure when you go back with it, there's an ear in there, right here, this ear, that this spring's gonna catch behind, right? It's gonna wind up and it's gonna catch behind there. So it actually sits in there like so, right?
sits in there just like this, right? And then you got to wind that spring back up in there. So maybe, maybe what I'm thinking at this point is that we do need the whole case and everything. Because I'll, let's be honest, y'all just seen it happen. I don't know exactly how tight this spring was. But we'll definitely check it out once we get another one. So, I got it all popped back together, man. I couldn't just finish the video like that. I couldn't just leave y'all hanging like that. So, what I had to do was I had to take my fingers and twist the spring. It goes straight down into that hole. I don't know if y'all can see that hole right about here. And then you got to slide it in and put your bolts back in. And look, it works. Right? It's good to go. So, we're going to try to find the sensor. Then we're going to do the videos and that. I couldn't end the video until I got that put back together. That was bothering me that I didn't know how to get it back together. So now that I figured all that out, it's back together. Gave y'all a little peek real quick. We're going to top this video off. Y'all keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe, always drop your boy a comment, and I'm rolling out.